have a treat for everybody. We are joined by Judy and Kathy from the Wine Club. And the Wine Club has, gosh, just shy of 300 members. So, well, ladies, congratulations on getting all those members. And thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Great. Considering the coronavirus, this is probably the brightest day of my life in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy. Yeah, I'm doing great. You know, we can't complain. We're comfortable in our homes. So. Exactly, exactly. And you know, uh, we've been doing a lot of these Zoom interviews and it seems like people really are, they are doing all right. I mean, they're heeding the advice of staying at home. They're using their masks, they're doing everything they need to do. Now, of course, wine tasting is a little bit different because you have, you're not with each other, right? So you're probably right. doing things that are not normal. So, so, um, Judy, let's start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the wine club and then we'll talk about some of the things that you guys are doing differently now that we're at stay-at-home orders. Okay. Well, like it says, we just had our first year anniversary um, the end of February. And um, I always say a busy club is a fun club. So we try to do a lot. Um, last year, we had a Royal Princess cruise for our first cruise. We had three beautiful wine tastings that the sommeliers on the ship did for us. Um, about every two, three months, we have a bus trip for the day and we go to different wineries. We just went to Temecula, I believe in February, and we went to three wineries and that was just a lot of fun. We were supposed to leave last week on the 25th of April for our Pacific Coastal Cruise. And of course that got canceled. And um, depending on what's still going on with the virus, we'll probably have to continue a June trip that we have scheduled to um, Santa Barbara, a Santa Ynez winery tour, and ending in Solvang. Yes, you guys do sound busy. So at this time, now that you can't travel, what are some of the things that you guys are doing with the members? Well, we did attempt a couple of weeks ago to have a virtual wine tasting by one of the wineries that um, we had gone to in Temecula. It kind of didn't end up having a lot of people. So now we're going to work with Kirk Green from Total Wine and see what they can work with us to do as far as a virtual tasting for our club. Yeah, it is a little bit different. I mean, I know we've got our wines here that you provided me. Thank you so much. And, and I think it's a little different. And, and actually, many people don't know how to use Zoom. It's it's really not hard, but there are an awful lot of people who just don't know how to use it. So there's another app you could do called House Party. <laughs> that one. Oh. Yeah, that's another one. So check out House Party. That might be easier for some. It's a little bit, I don't know. I mean, you'll have to see how it goes. Kathy, what are you finding to be a little bit challenging during these uh, times with your wine? <laughs> well, I'm the only one in our household that drinks wine. And uh, or any alcohol, since my husband doesn't, and uh, and I don't really like drinking alone, <laughs> so I have to, you know, use my Zoom time with friends and stuff to have a glass of wine or something. So I don't feel like I'm just becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Sales of alcohol and wine have definitely gone up, you know, and and I, I'm with you, you know, I'm home alone and. I got my dog, and I'm like, well, Caesar, let's have a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, so I miss my friends for doing that activity. So. Right, right. You know, what really surprised me was um, we heard from um, our person that's in charge of membership, Don Smith, and he actually had a couple that had just moved into the village a few weeks ago, and they walked to his house after they looked up you know, the wine club and gave them a check and membership paperwork to join. <laughs> and of course, we don't even know when we're going to be allowed to open back up. But I told Kathy, I said, isn't it amazing? People still want to join. and We don't even have meetings. I know. Well, you know, it, it is challenging times and, and people want to belong. And I think that's one thing that's really been great about our community is that even though people are quarantined, they still find lots of great ways to communicate. We've been trying to reach out to as many people in the, that are residents here, uh, just to kind of find out how they're doing. And everyone is really finding a lot of things to do. So with that in mind, obviously we have some wine and uh, wine glasses in front of us. Tell me if, if you were to have a Zoom 
wine tasting. Let's kind of do a mini one. Tell me what we would do. Okay, well, we are not wine experts. We are exactly what our club name implies, and that's wine lovers. However, um, a typical meeting, we will invite a wine expert or a wine connoisseur. Um, this month in April, we were supposed to have a theme, April in Paris and it was going to be done by Total Wine, and obviously we were going to be um, having a presentation of French wines and several tastings. So what we've done today is we're gonna present two wines that actually Total Wine has presented to our club before, and um, I don't know about you, Kathy, but these two in particular have kind of become my husband's and my favorites. And um, so do you want us just to go into the wine tasting? Yeah, let's do that. Um First of all, tell me about the wines that we are tasting, and then we'll just do a quick tasting, and uh, you don't need to go completely into the, I think we don't have that much time, so maybe just a mini one. Okay, well today I'm presenting uh, um, 2017 Cab, it's called Carson Ridge, and um, I'm pairing it with, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm pairing it with um, Brie and Salami and Krusty Bread. My favorite, cat bread and cheese. And um, it's a bold wine. It pairs well with steaks and cheese, Italian food, um, chocolate, of course. Oh, yum. <laughs> and um, I even enjoy it with spicy foods like Mexican food. Mm -hmm. And um, what I've just learned from some of our presentations is as you swirl it, here's looking at you ladies, um, as you swirl it, it kind of develops the bouquet of the wine. And um, as you smell it, the nose kind of tells me that it probably has a lot of dark fruit, chocolate, oak. Yeah, wow. And, um, they say that it is um, a medium bodied as far as the tannins and the acidity, um, and it's also a medium priced wine. Um, depending on how many bottles you purchase, you can get it from anywhere from 10 to $20. So it's kind of become one of my favorites because I like dark red wines. And um, Kathy's also going to be presenting a Kirk Green Total Wine pick that he presented at our club. And um, it, I don't usually go for Chardonnays, but my husband and I like this Chardonnay. Okay, good. I got yeah. So, this, okay. yeah, it's a Mallee Point, and it's from Southeastern Australia, All right. which is a wine region I didn't know much about because I'm more of... Uh, uh, more knowledgeable <laughs> of the Yarrow Valley in that area, but this is the lower part of Australia toward the southern point, and they have quite a nice wine region, mm -hmm. and they specialize, their largest uh, wine they produce is Chardonnay. Okay. Uh, it, it's the dominant wine for that region, okay. and this one's really good. I'm not a Chardonnay drinker, um, I usually find it too dry, acidic, you know, oaky, as Judy said. But this one is very light, but it has a really nice fruit bouquet, mm -hmm. and it also has a little touch of sweetness. Yeah. And I don't find it dry at all. So this would still pair really well with fish or any kind of light food. And I prepared a, uh, a dish of... Uh, a platter that you would use. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's mild cheese and some fruit, mm -hmm. and that would go really well with this this particular wine. Right, and the and it's also one of Kurt's uh, bargain price wines. Oh, so it's a really good deal. So, what are we looking at in price on that one? Under ten dollars for the I'm bottle. You know, when so I that's smell about it. our price range. Yeah. When I smell it, it smells a little bit like. A couple of other ones that are higher priced, like Soma Couture, mm -hmm. smells a little like that one, and also smells a little like Rombauer. Yeah, uh, so it's a good buy and a really tasty yeah. Chardonnay well, for me. Here, I'm just going to taste it right now. Where's your okay, cup? Okay, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> open the bottle because I can't drink it all by myself. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll taste mine. So, 
They can t you can taste it and let me know what you think. It's mild. Very good. Mild, yes, and it would go lovely in the afternoon. Um, right. Or now, I guess you can sit outside <laughs> and enjoy the weather and enjoy your cheese and fruit and your wine. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, one of our um, presentations in the future, whenever we do get to start having meetings, is um, this one sommelier that went with us to the Temecula wine trip. He's going to do a presentation on what's called, what is that called, Kathy? Lower shelf wines. And that's what yeah. um, Kirk from Total Wine also calls the bargain wines. And I like that Chardonnay so much, I went to look for it and I looked at the lower shelf and sure enough it was there. And really I don't like very many white wines and especially with this heat, it's very refreshing. Exactly. Yeah. This is, this is a very nice wine. Now, let me taste the red because uh, I didn't get a chance to do that. Let me see. Cause well, I'll taste it again then. <laughs> I do like red with so many of the things that you mentioned, and I find it a great digestive. So when you eat heavy food like that, you can have your wine, and it just kind of helps. So Right, right. That one's pleasant, too. Girls, you did a good job. Thanks for those. Those are awesome. Oh, thank you. Both are very knowledgeable of the wine. So, I mean, that's kind of a nice thing because you don't have to be knowledgeable of wines to belong to the wine club. You just have to like to drink wine, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes we don't always have um, a sommelier or a wine connoisseur do a presentation and tastings. Depending on what's going on with the season, we might just have someone that's well-versed with food and wine. Our very last meeting we were able to have was Mardi Gras, and we had invited Chef Connie Smith. She's one of our own villagers. And um, she did some beautiful signature dishes for Mardi Gras. And it was the very first time we had a band. Okay. And um, we had a new group called the Flukes. Oh, my gosh. I, I told Kathy, I said, you know what? We developed that spirit of Mardi Gras because everybody just jumped in and danced. And, you know, they just had a great time. So that was our last meeting. So depending on what's going on with the season or a holiday, it might be, you know, a speaker that's just well-versed with food and wine. But um, I think our very next one will be Kirk. And I guess I can't call it April in Paris, but um, we'll find something to call it for, um, you know, doing a presentation for French wines. Right. Well, that's good. And, and Kathy, I know there's one last thing I wanted to touch on uh, is the Vivino app. And that's a yeah. free app that you can get on your phone. And tell us just real quick about the app. Does this look backwards? <laughs> oh, it doesn't. It's perfect. perfect. <laughs> I looked at it and thought, it looks backward. But this it's Vivino, so it's really easy to spell. And you can find it in your app store, whether you're um, iPhone or Android. And uh, it's easy to download. And what it does that is so great is it will scan the label. Mm -hmm. So you're at the store and you see all these fantastic wines, but you know nothing about them. You might even see a wine that's very inexpensive. And you're like, oh, it probably tastes terrible. Well, you can take your smartphone and scan the label. And up it'll come in the catalog of wines that they have, that uh, Babino has. And it'll tell you what the rating is, alcohol content, uh, things about the winery, all kinds of uh, information about the flavors and the price range. So... That makes you feel very secure about what you're buying. Yeah. When you have that information. So right. It's, it's a great it app. It does, I think, pricing too. So you can kind of see yeah. what you think you're paying. Right, right. And, and may I just say real quickly that um, we're always asking each other, well, I guess we're doing something right because we're growing, but here is the feedback we get the most from people. So I wanted to remember to say it. And that is people say that they just love to come, break bread, have a glass of wine, and visit with their neighbors or make some new neighbors and new friends. You know, we have a lot of bands and wonderful musicians that I dearly love in the community, but that's what has really surprised me is that um, I guess we're on a roll that people just love to um, break bread, drink a glass of wine, nosh, 
and visit, you know. I love it. I love it. Now, how can people get a hold of you if they're interested? We have um, a website up for the wine club, and um, we also have a um, telephone number on that website that they can contact us. Okay. And um, <clears throat> I believe also we have um, on the website our current events and our future events. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, good. Well, thank you so much. Well, ladies, this has been so much fun. Thank you for my wine. I appreciate it. You're looking at you, girl. Here's to life after the virus. Oh, yeah. Life after the virus. Well, thank you, ladies. Have a great day. Trying to drink too much wine today. And, and Kathy, we look forward to drinking wine with you again soon. Okay, good. I got to get my wine, my wine on again. <laughs> thank, thank you, you for having us. You're welcome, ladies. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we'll be right back after this. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>